So today on this homesteading show, there are Eugene Grumbles. And things get protected from rain, even though rain is great. Except for not for those things. Long intro. Watch. Good morning, YouTube. And how are you? Well, I think it's almost lunchtime. It's been a slow start to this morning. So I got me a 16-foot board on top of the Jeep, as you'll notice. And my shelter for my bugs, well, the bug in the van, um, has a little awning part that flips out. Now, I paid 160 bucks thereabouts for this shelter. I still say it's almost as cheap as a uh, car cover for the bus, but it covers the whole bus up. It does really well. I need to, but one of the things I did in that video was saying I'm going to have to go back and add some extra supports to the fold-out awning side. Anyways, this is a really long introduction. I'm going to do that today. That's the plan. And also I need to comprise. I didn't buy anything to do it with, but I need to anchor um, the other shelter too. Because we had a crazy storm blow through and it was blowing everything around and it kind of blew it off just a little bit. So I'll show you how real quick how I anchored one of my other buildings. And I'm not going to do this one that way, but just so you have an idea. So on this one, the ground was a little bit unlevel. And so what we did was we dug down, this is black lotus, which is supposed to last a really long time in the ground. It's been here for probably about a year and a half or more. So, and we sunk those down to the ground. And originally I just had some long screws screwed down in here, um, but it wasn't quite tall enough. So I went back and added these little fake boards. I don't know what you call them. I got them for free. And of course this anchored, which this building came with better anchors than the other building over there. Um, this one's a Harbor Freight special. And these, they're screwed down here. One of the other tricks I did was I took some of the electrical strand that was left on the property and these had some holes here and I took and basically took the, the wire around and screwed it into the side. And these are cedar posts here and uh, it's also screwed down here. So that anchored this one quite well. Same thing here. Um, and then this one, just the anchors with it are big and heavy and Keeps everything nice and tight. Uh, tied it off over here to the junk pole fence. And Larry Eugene's rewired it since then. This is my grapevine growing. I've got to re kind of support it. The only thing holding it up right now is the actual grapevine. So, anyways, that's rambling. I got to go work on this other one. There's some extra fencing. New projects coming up soon. So, the awning on this building was kind of has those really crazy cheap poles, and all they did was hook at the top. They weren't very structurally sound, and I think it's just designed so if you're going to have, I don't know, a garden party, you can just fold out the awning and use it for that, um, which is pretty darn cool. I mean, it doesn't take long to throw together, and it'd be neat to have out somewhere just where you can sit under it and chill out during the summertime, but I want to go back with something a little bit more permanent on this side, and I haven't fully developed the plan yet, but... I'm gonna go find the, uh, some way to station this phone up and we're gonna start taking some measurements and dig a hole. Dig a hole! There's a bus. See, it's nice and happy. It's just the bug that's a little exposed. All right, Larry Eugene, without facial hair, which weirds me out. What we're doing today is fixing that. We're gonna use those landscaping timbers. I don't know if they're landscaping timbers or fence posts. They were given to us by Dana, the guy with the multi bugs who hasn't come and hung out in a while. So, we're gonna do that. We gotta find a tape measure, sink them in the ground, screw on that 16 foot board, figure out a way to attach the shelter, and go from there. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Half witted one at least, right? Well, it sounds like it might work. I don't know, Raggy. Depends on me and you. <laughs> no wonder you end up around. So once again, I wanted to give a shout out to Dana for dropping these bad boys off. I don't know why he did, but I appreciate it. I wasn't here. Larry Eugene said, sure, we'll take them. I knew we'd use them for something. Man, that old red clay don't play. Look out below. Let's see how deep it is, Larry Eugene. Put one in, and then we'll uh, 
go back and we'll pull this tarp over and see how it's gonna fit. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan to me. I had to take my jacket off, Larry Eugene. And then Monday it was snowing. All right, let's take a brief journey of discovery, Larry Eugene. There's a pole. We got a little extra over there on that side if we need to pull the whole building over. I think that's gonna roll over nicely. Only thing that worries me is how flat it is this way. Go any deeper, so I might just raise that side of the building. <laughs> Put something underneath it. All right, well, we're gonna stick with that. Measurement's gonna be two foot. I think I'm gonna go back and dig the back pole, and then we'll get it all set in. Now nah, we'll go ahead and set this one in. We'll, we'll go ahead and commit. Let's go ahead and commit, Larry. This is it. Yes. Where's the level? Be back with you in a minute. Ah. So we had to take a brief intermission for a couple bites of salsa, some water. Come back over here. And a carrot. Now we're back to it. We're gonna set this pole and go from there. Luckily it's hard red clay. I use concrete on some projects, but I try not to. For the most part it's hard red clay. Once it settles, it's done with. No moving it. Which is why digging these holes are so much fun. All right, now we do tape measuring and maths and stuff. And magically, in a few seconds, there'll be a pole right here or in this general area. And then we'll do something else. Sounds like a blast. Look at my pretty bug engine, look at that. Now you can't see it. Now you can see it. Yes. All right, goodbye. See, look, magic, that pole's there. I mean, it's not buried yet, but it's there. And it's about four inches shorter than that one. We're gonna alleviate a tiny bit of that with the board, but we dug the hole a little bit deeper, not realizing it was on such a slope. But we wanted it to slope back so that more rain will fall off this corner than that corner. So Larry Eugene went to go get the string. Oh, I'm tired. I haven't really been working that long. I think it's just because it's the first day it's ever been warm. All right, so you tie a string from one pole to the next pole, and that gives you an idea, pretty good idea where you need to set your center pole. I was debating on the center pole and how I wanted to do it, um, cause I'd like to kind of just leave it out. I still might. Um, structurally, you know, of course it'd be more, more feet on the ground, the better, right? But if it's not there, it's going to be so much easier to maneuver, maneuver the bug in and out without having to worry about hitting that center pole on anything. So I may hold off on that. We'll see. Those attached front and back. Still ain't sure about the center. I know I should, but I really don't want to. And... We're going to do some figurings. It's only got a screw on each side. And figure out if it's going to reach, how it's going to attach, all that jazz. Because we haven't pre-planned any of that. Right, Larry Eugene? Yep. I got a, guy, I got a yep. few ideas. No thanks to Nikki hiding in there making jello. We've gotten this far. And that front's really way too straight. Which presents itself some options. And we'll go from there. But it don't look that bad. It's just barely attached right now. But it's a heck of a lot better than not being attached, which is what it was before. So yeah. So, standing on the inside, taking a break. And I either need to lower that pole or raise that pole. It wouldn't take too much work to raise that pole, just being honest. But I don't know if I want to. And then right here, as far as the center goes, because of course as it rains, it'll collect here in the middle and just kind of sink it down. I've got the stock poles that came in that were supposed to go on the edges that aren't worth a darn. And I'm thinking about running those across from here to here, maybe zip tying when we're some sheet metal screwing or something like that. But the plan is, or what I'm thinking I'm be able to do is beat them flat and then drill a hole through them. That way I can put some screws through it. But just an idea. I guess we're gonna see if the chain stall will start. That way we don't have to use the seal saw and cut it all weird. Let's see. Now we got slope. So we got this billboard material that somebody gave me about a year, maybe two ago. That's what we've been using to cover the bug up with. And we're gonna see, if the two of us, it weighs a lot. 
can manage to get it down this side. If we can, we're probably gonna staple it in place and staple it on the back side of that two by four and wrap it around the back over there too. So we're gonna see if that works. Probably not. Signs pointing to no. We'll see. So I don't know if I can describe how difficult that was. It was hard and heavy, but and I can't find the staples, but I've got some roofing screws over there. So I'm gonna get this side tacked in. I'm gonna have to pull the slack out over there. This thing's a lot longer than we need. I guess we'll cut it one century. Probably won't be today. And I don't know if we're gonna wrap it around the back today or not. I gotta think about that and see, because it'd be easier to work on the back of the bug without the back, but it'd be so nice just to have it wrapped all the way around. But yeah, that's where we're at. So that pole there is our temporary brace while we took it loose to, to cut some length off over here. And we're about to screw it back in on this side and then go down and attach the tarp on that side. I don't know how we're going to cut it along the bottom without killing ourselves, but it'll be fun. All right, Larry, Eugene. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I know this is a bit of a choppy video, but there's the, uh, the billboard signage right there. we got to go across the top and we're going to nail it on the inside of that 2x4 and um before we come back and attach this part and should work good i'm really glad the person gave me this and i thought one day i might build a wafati or earth berm structure or something neat said i'm just building this terrible carport nothing really artsy or fancy about that but i'm gonna have a lot left so it might become a pond liner or something else i don't know there's a lot of it left if anybody wants to send me any of these just send me all you want i'll use it for all kinds of stuff all right so we got the billboard tacked up on this side along the top and not on the other side yet don't tell larry eugene yet but i think we're just gonna tack that top part over and throttle it back and judge some of our decisions because with that much billboard and you know you got a good six feet or so of extra space over here could potentially do something different throw out make a little bit more room or something so we're gonna finish tacking that up real quick and probably wrap this video up. It's probably long as heck as it is anyways. So it's been a fairly productive hour or two or so. And we got that side done and the top is temporarily tacked. Note, temporarily tacked. And still haven't got the bars built across here, but the bug's a lot more covered than it was. And hopefully we don't get a gargantuan rain between now and when we work on this again. Maybe tomorrow if we have time. I've got a, a review coming up, so I have to go get ready for that potentially tomorrow. But if not, it's decent. We'll be working on this thing again today or tomorrow or later today. I'm going to wrap it up here. I had enough for today, huh? Uh, I'm just not sure if I want to, I don't know, build something cool off outside. we got so much extra tarp left. Um, maybe build something all the way to that pine tree or for storage or... So the passenger could actually get out of the bug if we wanted to back it in there and then get out. So I don't know how I want to do the back. So just pause and think for a minute, maybe. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan to me. What should they do, Larry Eugene? I think we should take a break. Not me. Us. Not them. Them. Over them? Yeah, they should. What's that S word? You remember it? They need to smoke it over. Subscribe, Larry yeah. Eugene. Subscribe. Subscribe, okay. That's it.